Hey, this is Brett Bumitter coming to you from Lake Wiley, and today we're covering WordPress booking plugins. First, or not first, but uh, tenth on the list, is the Easy Online Bookings plugin. You can find that uh, in the WordPress repository. It's a uh, online booking system uh, widget, although I haven't quite figured out how to make this widget work just yet. I'm still working on that. But uh, the activation, uh, you have to set up the account, uh, or set up the plugin. After you got the plugin set up, you have to create an account with Easy Online uh, Bookings. And I wanted to show you a little bit about that. I've already gone through some of the steps, but it's real easy to add uh, services. So uh, let's say, so if somebody wanted uh, WordPress consulting services with me and they wanted to do it on Google Hangouts, I'll give them a little bit of a discount. Uh, and instead of charging the normal rate of $50 an hour, I can set it at uh, 40. Uh, you can see, let's see, I can hover over and get some more info, but uh, I kind of like the way they toggle uh, things around in the, in the times and things like that. I'm going to continue on to the next uh, step. Okay, better, that's me. And uh, we'll add all services to this uh, staff member. There's a free trial, which I've signed up for, by the way. Um, and it uh, lasts for seven days. After that, you have to uh, instructions, drag and drop staff resources onto the days of the week which they are bookable. So if Brett's available on Wednesday, I can uh, come in here and set the times for which... I am available. Ah, there we go. So I can kind of crank that down. And uh, while you're in here, it looks like you're going to add some uh, additional days. Available slots, let's say four. I'm not certain. The total number of bookings that can be made for this period. So I can be available for those two afternoons, but I can only be booked four times within those uh, afternoons. And let's take that down to three. I like to be prepared before and after uh, that type of thing. So that opens up some slots. I like the interface that I'm looking at here in general. Available inputs. This must be the information that I want to request from people trying to book me. Uh, must verify an email before they can book me. Um, choose a quantity. Sure, we'll see what that does. Oh, my customers choose staff. Uh, must select, I'm going to make that set. And you can integrate this with PayPal and uh, Google Calendar. I'm not going to go through that process uh, in this trial, but that's definitely something that I think is important. Now, this is a live demo of how your booking button will look and behave once you paste the HTML code below into your website. So let's see what that live demo looks like. I've got a password recovery I'm kicking in here, so ignore that. This is what it looks like. The two things that people can pick. How many quantities of time they might pick that for. Uh, looks like these are European calendar dates. In case you're not familiar with that, sometimes they put the date before, or the day before the month. So let's go forward to next week so that they can, there's a date where I actually have time available. And they can now see, this is 45 minute increments. Uh, and they want a quantity of two. So what's your name? Test name, test at test.com. Right, five, save and continue. Uh, and they would then receive an, an email, and they'd have to uh, input a six-digit code that comes in that email before they could complete their booking. So there's the booking process. Uh, and, and I required that. I could take that requirement away if I wanted to make it as easy as possible for people uh, to book. Me. So here's uh, the HTML code. Uh, if 
I want to install it into WordPress, which I've done, I need to take my customer ID and view these instructions, which I've already looked at, but I'm going to take a look at it again. So I've got my customer ID, and I need to do something with that. Basic parameters are your customer ID, and navigate to the installation page from the top menu. Save this by logging into. I've already input the basic code. Let's take a look. So here's what that basic code looks like. So I'm missing something. I've got the plugin installed, but I'm not seeing any uh, other places where I can do anything with it. Let's try. I mentioned widgets. Here's a, so let's see, maybe, ah, here's a place where I can enter my easy online ID. I've got to create a widget first, and I'm not sure how that's going to impact this page, but we'll take a look. So, I now can have a, in doing that, I get a, just to show you, uh, everything. If I've got a page, I've got a book now button that appears from that widget. Um, but due to the fact that I populated my widget, I now also get the book now button on my page. Not sure if there's a way to add that directly. Um, I don't see how I can do that to the page without the widget, uh, which is a little wonky. But now on my test site, I can see all those things that I just saw before. Not a bad, not a bad little system. I definitely like their their web interface. Um, not sure if I covered their pricing uh, all that much. Let me uh, back out a step so you can see their their pricing. Ninety nine dollars for the first year, uh, then just twenty nine dollars every year after that. So the first year you got to pay a hundred bucks, uh, and after that it's twenty nine dollars a year. Um, for what I'm seeing, at $130 total, that's not terribly crazy compared to other services out there. And and you do get PayPal and Google Calendar integration in this, two uh, useful services. So I'm going to give this a four, four and a half stars, I think, in my rating uh, of these plugins.